G'day fanatics, Lenny here, and I'm with Will, who dropped over to say hello. We've got a project idea for you. Project time? Yeah, craft. Craft time. Turf the craft. old five minute, it's not one here, we used to do five minute one here in a craft, remember that? Oh yeah. It was That's hard. Right. Yeah, so uh, right, so, um, disease pressure, really high at the moment. Excuse the builders across the road. They're uh, noisy and swearing. Um, so, disease pressure really high at the moment, a lot of dollar spot around. We see a lot of dollar spot. A lot of um, helmo. Leaf, 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 yeah. leaf diseases like Dressler. Yeah. Um, Come in a bit. Come in this way a bit. And so, we have a lot of uh, fanatics reaching for the off the shelf fungicide. Yeah. We, we would like to show you a cultural control or, you know, a non chemical control on how you can reduce your exposure to leaf um, leaf diseases, leaf turf diseases. And so a big thing that um, promotes and makes turf grass more susceptible to disease, those leaf diseases is jute. And staying, so, staying wet for extended periods of time, which is why you shouldn't water in the afternoons or the evenings, because your grass will stay wet overnight. Yeah. This is extended leaf wetness can help disease come in. And, and dew in Australia, um, if you go to places in Europe, dew will stay all day. Yeah. Particularly through um, autumn, winter. In Australia, we definitely get um, dew in the mornings and then once the sun gets on, it evaporates. But see what happens, and the reason why that happens is the large temperature differentials. Inversions between and daytime, and like yeah. 22 degrees here in Brisbane today, overnight it'll plummet yeah. to and 15. And so that the plant is is actively growing or, or breathing, mm. um, and so when you get that temperature drop, it exudes water, yeah. um, and so the dew forms on as droplets on the leaf. Yeah. And so a big uh, promoter of leaf diseases is external leaf moisture. Yeah. And dew is the biggest one that yeah. occurs. That and probably watering at the wrong time, as yeah. you mentioned. So what we're going to do is create a dew whip. So we, you can buy these online. I think you're probably paying 150 they're, bucks, 200 bucks. They're not cheap. Come in a bit um, further. They're not cheap online, but you can actually make one. You can make one for less than 30 bucks. Probably less than 20 bucks. Yeah. Um, you need a like a broom handle. Yep. Hold that. You need a piece of the common term for this is yellow tongue, but it's it's like a sparky cable feeder, so like electricians use it to pull cable through. Yep. You want something that's nice and rigid, that's malleable, like it'll still move. Give it give a bit of a whip. Yep. For the yellow sun, um, all available at Bunnos. You need a, a drill handy to drill through your yellow tongue. Yep. And then you just need some bolts, nuts and bolts and some washers. Yep. So you could buy the individual nut and bolt yeah. washer. I think I so spent- we just got a couple of packs. I spent 20 bucks, but if you were really tight and you could probably get a broom handle for five, that was five bucks and you could probably get a singular bolt nut and washer for under a dollar so yep. all up for 11 bucks you can make yourself a dew whip. whip so job number one this is too long we're going to cut it in half cool you have that mate here we go that was it oh that's job one done yep job one done and so what we want to do essentially what we're making is this handle we'll use the existing hole there so we'll cut that off. We want that to connect to here. Mark. And then we want to yeah, we want to kind of walk along on the turf and whip it around. Whip to, your hair back and forth. To brush the dew off Don't the surface. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll cut that piece of uh, rope off. There you go, mate. Fingers. Watch your fingers. Someone sharpen your scissors. I don't do the, the garden bit. Yeah, it's just grass. Yeah, I just do grass and not very well. 
That was step two. Step two done. Step three is drill a hole through your yellow tongue or cable puller. So what we're actually going to do, you don't want to do it on the end and then bolt that on because there'll be a lot of flexibility in that and you'll end up ripping that off. So we might put it sort of- A little bit longer. A bit longer and then we'll use some sparkies tape, electrical tape or gaff tape or whatever. You could even do your zip ties or you could do another bolt or whatever yeah. to wrap around the outside of it to stop it from flexing on the, against the broom so much. Yeah. It's because it's a flex against the broom that's going to rip that hole open. So. We can try all a couple of ways though. Why yeah. don't we find the right way, we'll tell you which way to do it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll try that. We'll drill a hole through this first. Let's see how it works with just drilling a hole through it, I reckon. All right. Drilled a hole. Drilled Lenny, a hole, didn't lose a finger. Lenny drilled a hole. Start of the new G whip. <laughs> Alright. That's almost in the center as well. How good are we? I'm proud of that. Heaps casso. Alright. Is that bolt fit through there? Let's check that first, otherwise we'll look like idiots. Yep. I've, I've measured once. Cut twice. Yep. So we're going through. Happy days. Oh, look at that. You got the right size bolt. Bloody marvel. <laughs> you got the right size screw. There we go. Straight on. And you can tighten that up as much as you want to. Yeah. So we'll get some uh, stray tape. Stray tape. Stray up. It's got to be yellow and green. Yeah. Otherwise, you're not an Australian lawn fanatic. Or, or you could get uh, the red, white, and blue individual rolls. Yeah. And do some sort of custom. The old Classico shenanigans. Look at that. I wonder if like you threw this like a javelin, if it would swing, like when you tape up half a ball. <laughs> half a tennis ball. <laughs> <laughs> something would happen. You would get something. I'm not sure the tail's the best idea for javelining. No. Aerodynamically, that's probably pretty poor. Yeah, good. I think that's enough tape. No, we need to stop that surface there from... Oh, you're going to tape right over it. You need Just to... Just go around it. So then we can still tighten up if need be. Yeah. Well, it does need to be tightened up. Yeah. But it's a movement on this end. They'll rip it out from there. Yeah, true. Now, you could use zip ties, like we said. Wouldn't use uh, sticky tape. Happy days. There we go, that'll do. Done. Cool. And so what we have here is Just one Jew whip. So we'll um we'll pop round to my place tomorrow morning to show you one what Jew looks like. Yep. You can you generally leave footprints in it in the morning. Right. And um, we'll show you this in action. It'll take us about a minute to do about 150 square meters. Yep. Um, so we looked up a study just before because um, we wanted to put some facts behind why you would do this and it showed um, if removing dew from your lawn twice twice a week yep. reduces so they did a study and they counted the amount of dollar spot scars yep. in 2.8 square meters yep. which is probably a yard conversion so three yards maybe three square yards or something yeah, it'd be like nine square yards or something. nine oh, square so, feet or something yeah it's something Anyway. Yeah, anyways, um, twice a week reduced it. It was 20, it was 20%. It was, it, no, so, okay, so there's there two tables there was a week one and then there was a month one. The month one, if you if you dew brush your lawn six times a month, so twice a week basically, it would reduce your dollar spot incidence by like in the 60%. tune of, or it was between 60 to 80 percent. So, um, just doing this twice a week. 60 to 80 percent less likely to re be reaching for a herb uh, fungicide yeah and it's not a long effort you know and it's far cheaper you know between 15 and 20 bucks mm. for one of these and a 200 fungicide yeah. and uh and then happy days is that right method. we'll see you at wheels tomorrow morning next day here we are at wheels place um not there it's this way 
we'll um, show you how the dew whip works and stuff. Finally some blue sky too. Finally blue sky. Look at that blue up there. That's awesome. We haven't seen that in weeks. Righto, what are we doing, Will? So basically, we made... Watch out for Archie with the chainsaw here. He might chop you up. We basically made the dew whip yesterday. Yep. Basically, all we have to do is walk along like this and get rid of all that dew that's sitting on the surface. Yep. So anyway. We'll try. We'll see how we go. I think maybe because you folded it up, it's a little bit folded. Yeah. Or it could be because we attached it to the thing. It's not working as good. <laughs> <laughs> take, take two. Take two. <laughs> no, we don't do take twos. That's we just why didn't want to tape it up. I don't think the tape is the issue, honestly. No, because you need it horizontal. Oh, there's a little bit of a hole in there. Yeah. Take the tape off if you want, give it a try. I don't know, it probably needs to be like heavier or something. Just be more aggressive when you're whipping. Why don't you hold the yellow end and swing the other end? <laughs> <laughs> Just really. Do the two hundred dollar ones weigh more? I don't know. I've never used one. I used to just use a broom. Right. So it's not as good as we hope. So there will be a a, a dew whip two point We're going to try two different things. The other thing is it's pretty dewy. It is pretty dewy, it's quite a, quite a heavy dew, and this but it is sort of working. <coughs> this is east here, and so the sun comes over this way, and so you get the shade of these trees, and so you can see like how heavy the dew sets in the shade. Yeah. The key is keeping the whip on the ground. Yeah. Normally it only takes about a minute to do a really large area. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of chill over there. Uh, let's see if we can whip it up. I don't know. Do 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 do. You can whip it. Just whip it.
Righto. There's heaps of dew along here. Yeah. I think the, the whip itself is a little bit light. Normally it's a fiberglass whip. Yeah. So we might have to try and work out how we add weight or an extra handle. So Will's to Homer comes to here, then there's going to be a garden bed around that tree, and then we've he's got more to Homer to lay up there at some stage. I think I've had some uh, people go, why haven't you journeyed the park? I haven't finished it yet. I haven't finished it yet. And see usually when the concrete is really old, all you do is chip off bits of concrete. Look at this. You can see how much you like put my hand in. It leaves a print. And your footprint there as well. Yeah. You can see it brushing. You get that off, you get less disease. That's it. Get rid of that, get rid of your disease. So I suppose the option is use your hand. <laughs> Other people have used brooms. Yeah, brooms, yeah, a broom to go. Bit of rope if you want to do that. That's yeah, what that's what they do in the outfields of the cricket pitches when they're uh, cricket fields when they're rain delays and stuff like that. That's how they, they use them to get the heavy jewel off. Yeah, if you can work out how to add a bit of weight to it. Yeah. Well there's gonna be a 2.0. Anyway, signing off from Will's place. All right, so we've had a bit of a play with it. We've taken the tape off. See how it moves just on the bolt? Yep. It means it can actually like, you can sit it a bit. So it actually follows the ground, so. So it does work a little bit better like that, but then you, yeah, is it? It is definitely it, working There's better. a longevity issue with the, uh, the hole. Longevity, we, 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 we had to get it in there, didn't we? Really, that's about as long as it should take. I've got just hit about 100 square metres. Yeah. Um, most of it's brushed off. There's a bit down here, you watch. Definitely works. We've still got some better. near the telegraph pole here as well. Oh, I ran the corner, keep going around the corner there. There we go. There's plenty of it around there. You can see it all down on that blue cooch down there as well. Yeah. It's even worse in the shade, it's more bad. And then down along Don't here. Don't you touch the carpet grass. Don't touch it. Essentially it doesn't get, or it doesn't seem to hold the dew on the leaf as much. It's just not as dense. No, it must it's, be. Because um, it's bloody magic, that's why. People drive past think we're weird. More power to them, eh? Well, we think they're weird because they're not out dew whipping their grass. I love That's him. This is a bit of a tough spot. Yeah. But if you look back over here, yeah. there's not a lot of dew on that lawn anymore. No. And that, that will be all about a minute or two. And that will decrease the likelihood of you getting dollar spot by up to 80%. There we go. We might um, see if we can try a 2.1 or a 3.0. Yeah. We'll come up with a really good one for under, let's say we'll set a budget of 30 bucks and we'll come up with a... Yeah. We'll set a budget of uh, say 30 bucks and yeah. we'll come up with a, a, um, a really effective dew brush that's gonna work for you. And be quick. You don't Quick. want to be pushing. You don't a broom want to be. Yeah, you don't want to be pushing a uh, twelve-inch wide broom around your yard all day. Yeah. Um, this should be something that takes five to ten minutes before you go to work. Yeah. That's the plan. All right. Stay tuned for the next iteration of the Dew Brush. Cheers. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekends. Blue sky. Lovely.